eighth of a turn. water level is uh, starting to rise from expansion from heat and this uh, <clears throat> brand new tricock from American Engineering appears to be leaking a little bit around uh, the valve itself uh, anyway I don't think we've built up any pressure yet. Although the tank is getting hot, I just temped it and it was about 150 degrees. Let's see here now. We're at uh, 160, 165 inside the tank now. Well, I <clears throat> turned up the gas a smidgen, and now I'm uh, discovering uh, some more uh, leaks, even through the pipe dope that I use, the pipe sealant. Uh, we are starting to build pressure now, so um, the leaks <laughs> are showing up. Yeah, we got a few that we have to deal with disappointed that this valve leaks. I don't know how I can fix that. It's internal. But the other ones are... Um, there's one there. I think there's no dope on the on the fitting inside there because it was already screwed in and it was too tight to take out. Well, I'll do something about that. A little bit of leakage around the side glass. I guess that's just, you know, clamp that down a little bit without breaking the glass. Um, one here, kind of surprising because it's coming through the pipe sealant. Um, but so far, that's uh, that's all I've spotted right here on this end. And we are up to now what? Um, come on, get in here. Uh, Twenty-five. PSI. I'm going to see if uh, I can let this thing run until the safety valve blows. I already tested it on uh, regulated air and it did blow at 60 PSI. And hopefully this thing will get up to 60 PSI even with these uh, leaks. Uh, maybe not, I don't know. We'll give it a try. And I, uh, I opened up the valve just a smidgen more to get some more heat and uh, my stack is burning a little bit hotter now. Not too bad, about, uh, we see this here, about 280. Still reasonable, still not going to burn the paint off. Oh, and by the way, you'll notice uh, it's relatively quiet. The sound of the, of the burner um, inside, or the flue and the stack and everything. It's uh, pretty reasonable. I could certainly live with that. There's a lot of hissing going on right now. And even though the stack is running hot, you know, I can still put my hand over it here for quite some time. So that's a good sign uh, that uh, we've got some radiant heat inside here and not just blowing it all out the uh, exhaust stack. Okie dokie. Well, I'm up to about 37 PSI approximately. Um, but with these leaks here, I don't know if I'm going to uh, build up enough pressure to, to blow the valve. 
before running out of water. I'm not sure. I'd like to fix those leaks first. In the meantime, I'd like to run my engine. So uh, let's introduce some steam here and uh, see what happens. Hydraulic water coming through. Wow. It's all about home built Graham TVR 1A engine running on a home built boiler. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And a chuff pot. Not finished yet, but it's getting broken in already. Maintaining about twenty five PSI. Throttle a little bit here. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> yeah. Let me get this thing back up here. Oh, man. This thing cooks. That was awesome. Wow. Dig it. Digging it. That's very awesome. Hoo hoo hoo, yeah, baby. Look at the chuff pot steaming. Is it picking it up on camera here? <laughs> I never heard of a chuff pot before until I went to the Mamad forum. And I saw it and I liked it. I had to make me one. Look at that, so cool. Much better than spitting all the goo all over the the towel on the tabletop, and that's for sure. Yeah, baby.
Well, what do you think, Captain? Everything all right? A OK? You approve? Yeah, baby. This is what it's all about, huh? Cool. <laughs> I'm jazzed. This is awesome.